Hello, we would like to introduce tutorial for model-based system engineering and digital engineering enablement from system engineering to analysis and design interchange based on recent integrations and we'll present this in the context of the hearing aid medical device. We follow descriptive system engineering model integration with the analysis and design based on this pattern where we see that uh, uh, to integrate pretty much models, uh, uh, one of the main characteristics of the digital engineering enablement is actually the data would be machine readable. Like most cases, it's model based. Uh, we can do it uh, in the way as presented here. When we have system engineering data, most cases we, we deal with SysML because that's a popular language and there's a lot of projects using it uh, and um, companies. And uh, for analysis tools, uh, there are multiple methods to integrate, uh, but there's uh, also a big, um, how to say, use case here when we provide system architecture, alternative architectures, existing system architecture for the analysis, performance analysis, then we get performance characteristics of that analysis. And then we'll present one or another way to do it um, based on our integrations. And then here we have also designed big part of the integration between system architecture is the requirements in the model for the design and feedback. And uh, here we have medical, electrical uh, aligned through the system architecture. And also requirements are input and result of system engineering. And also system engineering is not isolated from the multiple roles which gets results of the system architecture and analysis through uh, documentation, web interface exported and auto-generated from the model. And we are leveraging current integrations which we have, as you can see here, this is a recent uh, chart demonstrating a lot of integrations we did in recent years just with the internally 3D experience platform following uh, similar uh, integrations pattern as we saw in the slide before, where we have requirements uh, management, we have product line engineering, we have code generation, we have design export, uh, we have uh, change in configuration, configuration management, workflow and traceability with the system data uh, automatically committed and check out through 3D experience pattern. We have traceability and review and change impact. We have the design with uh, manually generated trace links and auto generated based on patterns. We have system L, uh, sys requirements uh, simulation for mission critical systems. We have uh, workflow automation for simulation, including adapters for multiple internal and external uh, models and tools. And we have multi physics uh, design uh, and simulation in the model um, for them. Uh, perhaps one of the best integrations which exist currently between analysis and descriptive uh, system architecture in SysML. And in current scenario, we will uh, demonstrate uh, uh, four integrations. Uh, this whole tutorial is eight hours. We'll just present a short overview, like five minutes. We'll provide the samples. And please join us in the future events for this tutorial, completely hands-on live. We'll present today and in this tutorial, we cover requirements, synchronization, product line engineering, traceability, and uh, uh, system uh, simulation uh, workflow automation with the process composer. In the second part of this uh, video, uh, next uh, video actually we will uh, show specifically how we do requirements and product line engineering in 3D experience platform. Today we'll show how we import them and use them in the system architecture. And we do that all in context of uh, digital uh, product development. Uh, we chose uh, deliberately not uh, aerospace and defense and uh, transportation and uh, mobility. We chose uh, uh, healthcare uh, a medical device um, which is uh, consist of this uh, uh, shape as you can see bill of material for this uh, uh, device uh, hearing aid device including uh, the um, uh, inside uh, wireless component uh, which has its own geometry and this device is parameterized so we know the size we know the volume and we use it inside of the system architecture 
uh, and there are some uh, configurations of this uh, equipment where we have wireless device we have no wireless device and we need to know also how uh, what are the design constraints what are the feasible design constraints and this integration helps us to understand design limitations also to know that based on the design selection we still satisfy requirements like for example uh, total mass roll up and uh, also we maintain variance configuration based on the on the selected uh, feature model features uh, okay so now let's go to the demonstration of the first part of this uh, tutorial the uh, activities we have structure we have requirements uh, very table with the verification in the directly in requirements table we have uh, uh, analysis context for verification and validation now we switch to the 3d experience platform where which you can see we have requirements and now we'll go like here for example requirements and now we'll go to the cameo data hub to synchronize those requirements from 3d experience platform and we can do it both ways uh, we, here we can connect them um, to multiple data sources and have requirements repository for engineering and business solutions in 3d experience platform but synchronize them to the required uh, engineering product to continue with the modeling in our case just by drag and dropping then set up the mapping we can memorize the mapping for the future but that's just demonstration that we can do it here also direction we can choose you know like one or another way because the stakeholder needs we can get you know from the repository and then come up with the next level of requirements so we get those requirements now we can set the scope for the table to show those requirements uh, inside of the table in order to have uh, now we create uh, system traceability so we take those requirements for the battery disposable rechargeable for the wireless uh, module for the total mass and we create satisfy relations now we come back to requirements table and we see that we have value margin bounds if the we have the properties coming from requirement uh, we can actually verify that based on the latest check you know that could be based on the instance which is created based on simulation results so here we have like roller pattern so we can save this value to the default value to the instance of this uh, specific check and then we'll see in the uh, requirements table uh, what's the verification status what's the margin for, and what's the bound coming from directly from requirement next here is feature model so we can import this uh, feature model directly from the 3d experience platform and uh, reuse it for the variance uh, configuration for the system model we have basic and premium configurations uh, basic does not have wireless and have a, 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 a disposable battery and premium has rechargeable battery and has variant also so we import them that's a Novia variance integration so we have them here we see basic and premium configurations and uh, on top of that we get uh, effectivities uh, so we can uh, actually uh, reuse them also for the requirements uh, because that's the only thing where you can put the effectivities and they exist already here So we can uh, uh, synchronize once we have feature model synchronize effectivities enable them and uh, check for changes or so just synchronize uh, requirements and uh, we'll get uh, effectivities and then we can use those variation points in the system model with all the updates coming from the uh, Anovia on the variation points and uh, later realize one another as you can see here color mark and realize uh, one another variant of the system model so here we see uh, what will be left what will be removed if we realize basic or premium configuration we can actually update you know that uh, not only requirements would be included but also wireless for example system part you know will be included for this variation point
Also, we can do that for the battery. We can choose one or another battery, rechargeable, disposable with a more advanced variation point. Still, it's based on the customization. Just right click on the battery part and choose what will be the association and uh, uh, so it will be element property and to specify what would be the variation point for that uh, to depend on uh, one or another choice. So this will be battery. Then we can perform transformation to realize uh, premium, for example, variant of the system model. And then we do analysis using uh, another next pro process composers in, uh, integration. So here we pick uh, what part of the model will be filtered. Choose variation point. Choose uh, configuration and click finish. So here we have the model cut uh, and uh, as you can see rechargeable battery is used. And then we can run simulation and see what would be roll up for that one. Here we see that we have uh, 3D CAT, which we can uh, package as a simulation uh, experience with the ability for the 3D experience platform. And uh, using uh, those simulation experiences, drag and drop as the process compose integration and run the simulation. So we can actually uh, convert the uh, geometry uh, coming from the like large, small, you know, to the analysis run by process composer and uh, just drag and drop and run this linked uh, simulation with universal interface coming from 3D experience platform and get like mass and also check that, you know, based on geometry, the wireless device inside of this uh, hearing aid device will fit or not, you know. So we need to assemble, you know, those devices based on the different users, some small, large, right? And we can check it. Uh, what would be the right requirements uh, even in this early stage, you know. So what would be the right uh, mass, you know, and demand, you know, will be fit with that size of the, and here we can map it, you see, like we drag and drop, we get a constraint block, which links to the 3D experience platform, we map it. All mapping is done uh, completely automatically if it is matched by name, you know, or similar. But uh, if we need, for example, to recalculate, you know, total mass from uh, kilograms to grams, so we can add our own constraints. So here we run this simulation experience from the uh, Katia Magic and we have the status here. You can see what would be the process executed, you know, we can actually change the inputs and monitor the outputs. And here, once we run now total mass roll up, we get that it's 26 uh, grams, which was based on the, you see, like a uh, calculated total mass from the body of the device, which came from the process component for the experiment platform. Also, we see that uh, wireless will not fit uh, with this geometry. We can change ellipse major axis to 16. And that will rerun the analysis here directly from Process Composer on the 3D Experience platform, and we'll get that wireless now fits based on those geometries and the total mass is recalculated. We can add it to the default value, save as instance, uh, or save as instance and monitor that directly in the uh, used experience platform to navigate through the, all the diagrams, all the model as preview, and also establish traceability to the design as we see here and use cross-reference to the, the, the present the parts in the f model here in the system model and also in the 3D CAD as an example. Also, we can link to requirements and the rest of the design uh, leveraging the best of the uh, engineering and business uh, platform. Thank you.